I just made a video on changing my identity and if you haven't watched that video I'm going to link it in the card somewhere so it's going to show up and then you'll get the context of what I'm talking about. First of all to help you understand something that we usually think or at least I, I used to think before is that I thought that if I do things then I will have the results that I want and I focused a lot more on doing things and that's what I've really spent a lot of time doing, doing the activities, reading the books, joining the courses, getting the knowledge, getting the mentors, doing, doing, doing with the expectation of having. And yes, I have been able to achieve a lot. And in order for me to achieve what I'm going to achieve in the next level, I need to be a completely different person. I need to change my identity so that I can embody the person who is going to make that achievement, who's going to reach those goals. I've been doing some research and I, I wanted you to start with this because I want to give you something practical that I have figured out and that I wrote in my book, my notebook, because I'm, I'm taking this seriously. So you can do the same thing, take some notes so that you don't just absorb the information like you're watching Netflix, but you actually learn something that you can go back on and maybe even teach somebody else like I'm doing for you. One of the activities or at least a starting point for us is to write down what is this goal that you want to achieve? What is this next level goal? And it doesn't have to be one, but I wouldn't recommend doing more than three. Like you want to start small so that it doesn't become overwhelming. It doesn't become like a to-do list of lots of things and then you're not prioritizing the most important things. So you can pick between one and three goals, things that you really want to achieve in the next 12 months um, is a good period. I'm doing up 12 months as well. So you can do six months depending on the kind of goals that you're setting. So write those down between one and three goals. Then also write down why you want to achieve those goals. Why are they important for you? And your why is going to be more important than the how. Your why is what is going to keep you going when things get rough. And things will get rough because like a tree that has to form out of a seed and break through the ground, it's going to be difficult. But then once it breaks through the ground, things are going to get easier and then it gets the water and then it gets the sunlight and then it starts to grow and then there's momentum. But up until that momentum, that seed that needs to break through the ground is going to have a hard time. Some seeds have to be burnt in order for the outer shell to break. That's what happens when sometimes somebody goes through a drastic change. Maybe they hit rock bottom. They have to get burnt. That seed breaks open. That cover breaks open and that seed is able to break through and break through the ground and become a huge, huge tree. So we have to go through the same process. So in order for us to have something that we look forward to, something that that helps us on the days when we don't feel like doing the work, we have to understand why we are doing those things, why we want to achieve those things. Is it people who you want to help? Is it a lifestyle that you want to have? Is it something you want to do for your family? What is it? Is it a medical condition you want to treat, manage, or cure? What is it? What's your why? That's the second thing. So first you write down what those one to three goals are. Then you write down the why for each of those goals. A powerful why. And be honest with yourself. Things like, I want to make money. I want to be financially free. More often than not, they are frowned upon. But if it, that's the thing, if, if that's what's driving you towards a particular goal, just write it down. Be honest with yourself. Because it's only when you're honest with yourself that you can begin to make progress and move towards the thing that you're working towards and not lying to yourself. Money sometimes is painted as a bad thing, but it isn't. It's okay to have a goal and want financial success or financial freedom from doing those activities. And then the third thing is, who do you have to be? What's the personality of that person? The traits of that person? The behavior of that person? How do they look? 
How do they dress? How do they sound? How are they? And you can even close your eyes and visualize this person. Like for me, this person would be cool, calm, and collected under pressure. This person would, be, would have wisdom for me. Wisdom is really important for me. I think, you know, this person does not talk just because people are talking or just to hear the sound of their own voice. This person talks when they have something important to say and what they have to say is impactful. This person thinks and formulates their sentences differently. They are a great communicator. This person has confidence. They have confidence to achieve big goals, not small goals. This person is driven. No one has to push them to do things. This person has people around them who support their goals. People around them who also behave in a similar fashion. People around them who they look up to, who are doing great things, who they can emulate, who are role models for this person. So those are just some of the things. Like for me, when I think of that person who's going to achieve those goals that I have set for myself, those next level goals, that's what I think of this person. So do the same thing for yourself. Start thinking even like, what do they drive? You may not have the car that they drive at the moment, but just having that idea will start to activate a part of your brain that will begin to lead you towards the opportunities that will get you the things that you want. I think this is really fun. This is a fun exercise and I, it's a great starting point. I already wrote down mine. So I want you to write down yours so that by the time you're watching the next video and we are talking about more things that we can do, more exercises that we can do, you've at least got clarity on what it is that you want to achieve and the person who is going to be able to achieve those things, right? Awesome. I'm really excited for you. I think I'm also really excited for myself. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Ciao. <laughs>